everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Software piracy, or any kind of piracy really, is challenging and has been around for many years now. Tech giant Microsoft has found a way to combat software piracy through one of the most popular new technologies, blockchain. It might not be the simplest technology to understand, but it might very well offer a new tool to fight against software piracy. Ethereum can now be used to anonymously purchase pretty much anything, from software tools and food to electronics. Without going any deeper into the technicalities, Ethereum is open-ended, decentralized, and almost impossible to tamper with. Also, it's easily accessible. According to a study distributed by the Global Innovation Policy Center for the US Chamber of Commerce, global online piracy costs the US economy more than $29.2 billion and as much as $71 billion in lost domestic revenues every year. While the numbers are high, it doesn't consider the annual losses to the US economy and employment and in the reduced GDP. The report also highlights that digital video piracy results in between $47.5 billion and $115.3 billion in reduced US GDP every year, along with the losses of 230,000 to 560,000 jobs. To be sure, media companies have to take proper measures to secure their intellectual property from privacy. But this hasn't been enough considering the level of piracy. Now researchers have contemplated that blockchain technology could potentially play a significant role in controlling the software and protecting against piracy. In today's video, we'll look at how blockchain technology can prevent software piracy. As always, if you find this topic interesting, then you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. You can also let us know if you find it interesting by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Now let's jump into it. Blockchain as a center forward in the fight. While blockchain is unlikely to solve the problem of software piracy on its own, the technology could be used as one component of a bigger solution to stop piracy. Part of this is because there are many reasons why software piracy occurs, and analysts have yet to arrive at a standpoint for the practice. Different factors such as unaffordability, cultural norms, and even lack of access can contribute to piracy practices. Hypothetically, if the internet were built on blockchain technology, it could become extremely difficult or even impossible for pirates to share and profit from software tools unlawfully. This is seemingly because a blockchain internet would enable monitoring and tracking of illegal actions through distributed ledger technology. As a result, individuals wouldn't be able to hide their piracy activities like they can now. So let's have a look at how Microsoft leveraged the capabilities of blockchain technology. How Microsoft is exploring blockchain's capabilities to fight software piracy. The tech giant Microsoft is looking forward to using the Ethereum blockchain to fight software piracy by depending on the network's transparent and decentralized nature. And the details were released by the firm's research department in a new study. The software company is exploring a new reliable system called Argus, the first public anti-piracy system. In the 11 page paper, the company suggested that anti-piracy is basically a technique that depends on gathering data from the open anonymous population. Microsoft, along with researchers from Carnegie Mellon University and e-commerce giant Alibaba, came up with the design, implementation, and assessment of the new anti-piracy system. The company says that Argus will operate on a public blockchain to allow digital piracy informers to hide their identities while maintaining a certain degree of transparency for the broader audience at the same time. For instance, Reports submitted to Argus will protect the identity of the individuals, but allow the company to backtrack the source of the pirated digital content. So to put it simply, a blockchain is a form of public ledger where every transaction is recorded after it's verified and authenticated. Also, by optimizing different cryptographic operations, piracy reporting costs will be lowered to an overall cost of spending around 14 ETH transfer transactions. This is contrary to the usually high transaction fees Ethereum is known for. The paper also highlighted that with the security and reliability of Argus, the real-world anti-piracy campaigns would be truly effective by transferring to a fully transparent incentive mechanism. As it stands right now, 
It can't be said for sure that blockchain will solve the problem of software piracy completely. Since the technology is still at its early stages, and the issue keeps spreading like a viral disease. But this is one of the significant ways to consider protecting software and intellectual property for the right holders. Microsoft's Argus is an example of the result of a dedicated and efficient approach. It's more advanced than existing solutions in terms of characteristics and trustworthiness. It's a powerful use case for public blockchains because of the following reasons. First of all, it's possible and easier to build a fully transparent solution without the introduction of a trusted role. This can allow for a paradigm shift in anti-piracy incentive solutions. Secondly, such a solution actually combines the interests of all roles in a fair way, which is, as long as one role isn't responsible, its interests are not affected by other guilty roles. And thirdly, along with being logically correct, this solution is also economically feasible because of the effective optimizations. So what if we start thinking and working in a world where we could simply check the authenticity of a software tool or product and determine if it's fake or genuine with our phones and blockchain technology? What if we become part of the plan to build a blockchain ecosystem? The future has a lot of possibilities, but right now, all we have to do is wait and watch. So there we have it. We've had a look at how blockchain technology can prevent software piracy. Once again, if you found this topic interesting or helpful, then don't forget to let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. Once again, you can also let us know by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching.